just past signs into Cornwall, so I'm officially on the final straight. However, didn't want to end up here, but I am on the A30, even if it's just for a short time. So this this road is kind of dreaded by cyclists and referred to as the two-lane motorway. Um, so this is what I've got to look forward to for a bit. Not ideal. Right, I'm at the side of the A30. I've just had a Red Bull and a Costa coffee. I've come back onto the A30 instead of going on the A39 because that was even worse than the A30. The A30 is like a motorway, but at least you have like half a yard or whatever of space where you're not actually in the road. Whereas the A395, you're very much on the road with Cornish edges either side. And twice lorries came round blind corners and tried to squeeze past me, and they were kind of heart stopping moments. So. I, I turned around and cycled back the two or three miles I came and back on the A30 so it's 40 odd miles to Truro so it's just going to be head down at the side of the road with the lorries flying by and hope that I make it out alive. Yeah I've done about 25 miles on the A30 and it has been a very different cycling experience to what I've had on this trip. As you can see it is non-stop traffic <coughs> there's about 12 inches on the side of the road that you can squeeze on but when you're flying down some of the hills there's massive hills on this road you've got to just get on the road and hope that the drivers are courteous which they have been for the most part the only time it's been a bit, bit of a book clenching moment is when lorries come by with uh, static caravans on the back a Munga didn't really move over at all and <laughs> kind of felt that push past my ears wasn't very comfortable whatsoever. If I don't make it, then peace out, Elmo Cycling Blog. Avenge my death. Russ has helped me with my route. If I've been unsure of a route, Russ back in Leeds has been sending me alternative routes and distances, so you can have my, uh, my bike and my panniers. I don't really have anything else. Luke, you can have my laptop and my TV and my fire stick. Other than that, it's a free for all. All been well, 20 miles off me in Truro. How could I forget? My drum kit, full setup, goes to the main man in the production room at Popcorn Productions, Adam Fowler. If I snuff it, the drum kit's yours. Amp, drums, cymbals, the works. <laughs> Mum and Dad. Not to be missed. You can have my student debt. I don't know if either of you were uh, silly enough to sign as a guarantor or whatever. You'll have to sort that amongst yourselves. You're welcome. Donuts, you're always borrowing my books. So you can help yourself to the rest of my bookcase. On happy 30th, we'll have a pint when I get back. Tom, you can have your speakers back. I think that's just about everyone. They can do what they want with me organs. I ain't got one of them cards. But I'll not need them. So they can help themselves. Last will and testament. Done. One last thing. Okay, we made it to Truro in one piece, thankfully. I will never look at those hills again um, in the same light. If you, if you ever come to Cornwall, and you're coming through the A30, just take a moment to imagine what it's like going up those hills on a bike because that was something else. Um, just touched base in Truro and my good friend Phil Whitfeld has done it. He's a bed, um, his spare room and he'll never know how good that looks. That will be the second bed I have stayed in since the 4th of August. I think it's the 23rd today. So that is going to be awesome. So it's to St Agnes and Perrin for a couple of pints with some old friends. And then that we'll definitely on for Land's End tomorrow. Such a good feeling. There he is. Wave! <laughs> well, let's do it again for a second now. Don't look at the one. Yeah. It's still bloody good. Wave! Uh, <laughs> some time, eh? Maybe <laughs> not. Ha ha ha!